All right, gang, welcome to Hanson Speed Shop. Today we're going to be doing a pretty cool build. The other day I found one of these, I actually found a couple of these Tamika Model T cars. Um, one was a tall team, the other one was this touring car. I'm going to be building them uh, kind of both at the same time, but I'm not sure which one um, it's going to get done first. So you'll either see this one before the other car or the other car before this one. Um, but I really, I liked these because they have nice scaling on them and good detailing and they have a lot of options for what I could do with one of these. So I, I picked both of them up super cheap, like 25 cents a piece or whatever. So I wasn't going to pass it up. This one, um, I'm going to be doing kind of a late fifties, early sixties style hot rod out of it. Um, but probably all that I'm going to be really using off of this car is the body itself, maybe the windshield, and maybe part of the interior. Um, I'm planning on probably trying to fit this body on a different chassis, um, just because this chassis, uh, as you can see, sits up pretty high, and it's not going to be really able to be modified like what I want to do. Uh, so I have a couple chassis in mind. Um, that might work as far as putting this body onto them because I want this car to have that low channeled look kind of a uh, it's just going to be a really cool car but before we can go any farther we got to get this thing torn apart that way I can see exactly what I have to work with because I've never torn one of these apart or done a lot of Tamika cars in general um, so I can't really say exactly what I'm going to be doing with this car yet till we get the thing torn apart and I can kind of come up with a game plan, but I know that I can do this. So by the end of the video, we'll have a super sweet, old school, traditional style hot rod that I know you guys are going to dig. So we'll get this thing torn apart and then we'll go from there. All right, guys, so we got the car torn apart. I got the body stripped and we can kind of take a look at what we have to work with on this thing now. Um, and what we're going to be doing with this thing. So for the most part, the only things that I'm probably going to be reusing out of this car is um, this main tub part of the body. I'm going to be cutting off the hood. So we're just basically going to be using this tub part of the body, uh, potentially part of this interior, uh, for sure, like the floor and steering wheel. I'm not sure if we're going to use these seats or not. Probably not. Um, I also have not decided if we're going to use the stock Model T style grill. It is kind of nice. It does say Ford on it. It has nice detailing. Uh, so I haven't decided on that. Um, one part that I, I didn't really realize at first, but uh, our firewall, windshield frame, and these um, lights here. This is all made out of metal. I thought it was plastic like the grill, but this is actually metal too. Uh, so I think I'm going to cut the lights off. And then we'll fit um, fit this on here, glue it, and then form it, fill it to the body for our um, windshield frame and our firewall. And I th that should look pretty good once we get rid of this hood. Um, we're not going to be using our, our whole chassis over here. We're not going to be using, going to put this thing on a different chassis because we're going for kind of an old um, late 50s, early 60s style hot rod. Uh, so this thing should be pretty cool. Uh, the next step is going to be basically to just start um, cutting that hood off, reworking uh, this firewall windshield here, find a chassis for this thing to go on. Probably going to have to do front and rear axles, find an engine for this thing. So it's going to be kind of like a, a lot of different parts off of a bunch of different cars to build this car. It's not really going to be so much of a custom of of this car in general, basically just using this original car as kind of parts um, to put together with a bunch of other parts from other cars and build a cool hot rod. Um, and it should be pretty sweet. So I'm really excited about this build, something a little bit different, a little bit more challenging. Uh, I'm just gonna have to do a little bit more thinking on how exactly we're gonna do this, but I know it should be pretty cool by the end of the video. So we'll take another look at it once I get some more progress made. All right, guys, so this is basically kind of what we're down to now is a pile of parts um, from our original Tamika T Touring car. Um, I cut the whole front hood off of the car. Um, we're just, and I cut the uh, little 
lantern lights off of the front here. Um, so this piece will just fit on here like that, and then we'll kind of mold it in. Um, I've got the planning on running this style wheel on the back and, and then this style up front. So it'll kind of be like that, basically. Uh, we're going to notch the body to bring the, the body down and give this that super low kind of old school channeled look. Um, I'm not sure yet if we're going to take a frame off of something and then modify it to fit on here or if I'm just going to kind of make my own setup. Um, we are, are going to be running the original uh, Model T style grill. I don't think we'll be running these headlights though. I'm not a super big fan of those. Um, and then as far as our interior goes, we're not going to be running this back piece. We might run the front seat, the front floor part, and then the steering wheel and steering column. And then I might just make like kind of a, I guess you could call it like a tonneau cover type thing to cover up the back of the car. Um, we'll figure out something cool for that. Uh, but that's kind of where we're at. I don't have a motor yet that I want to run in this thing. Uh, but I have some ideas for something that would be cool. Uh, but we got kind of a lot of work ahead of us yet. But this is where we're at. So I thought I'd just show you. Um, I think you could kind of see where I'm going with this. It should be pretty cool once it's done. Uh, so we'll take another look at it once we make some more progress. Alright gang. So it has literally been like months since I have touch this car at all um, but I've decided to go in a completely different direction that one than what I was originally planning on doing with this car um, this is the Tamika T and uh, touring T and I was originally gonna just kind of ditch everything ditch the frame the fenders most of the interior and just kind of do it into um, like a really cool late 50s style hot rod um, but it's running into some problems as far as what to use for a frame and things like that. Some things just weren't going to work out like how I wanted to. Uh, so I just, I just kind of lost interest in this project. It's literally been like probably five, six months um, since I've even touched this car. But if you guys seen uh, my other Tamika car that I built, which was a tall T, that came out absolutely beautiful. And uh, one of those people commented on that video saying that I should I kind of did that car inspired by the the red lines of the late 60s but did it up more in a show rod style and somebody said that would have been a cool car to do just with Hot Wheels red lines on it so I had this car laying around lost interest in it and decided hey you know what I got some like kind of modern uh repop red line wheels sitting around not doing anything with this car. Let's just do this up as kind of a, a red line car that never was. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing now. Um, I've decided to go back with the stock frame, the stock fenders, the stock interior. I already cut off the hood like we've seen earlier in the video. Um, so basically where we're at now is um, the thing, the wheels fit on really good. I didn't even have to make axles for it or anything. Um, the only things left that I have to do is mold the windshield in onto the body, get that all nice, uh, strip the fenders. There's a piece on the back of the uh, top here um, that I'm going to fill in just to make that look a little bit nicer. And then I got to find an engine for this thing. And then we'll probably end up making some kind of a cool exhaust for it, like we did on the other Tamika car. Um, so basically, that's where we're at now. I think this might be a little bit, what I was originally going to do with this car would have been cool also, but this is going to be equally cool. Um, I kind of gained interest back in this project now that I have changed gears. Um, so the next thing that we'll do is get them fenders stripped, finish cleaning everything up, find an engine for this thing, and then uh, keep moving along because this project is way overdue for being done. Um, I hope you guys dig the change that I made. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Um, so we'll take another look at it once I make some more progress. All right, guys. So I just wanted to show you this step um, before I go any farther. We sourced a motor for this car, which fits perfectly. 
Um, this was sourced out of a Hot Wheels King Cuda. It's kind of a little smaller scale sized uh, blown Hemi, um, which is very reminiscent of the motors that came in like all the uh, early red lines that had an exposed engine. Um, it's the right scale, right size. Cut that out of the King Cuda. And uh, not only did it fit really good in, in here, um, but it just looks at home and it's going to give it that old school Hot Wheels Redline look. On uh, my other Tamika Tall T, we used a legitimate Hot Wheels uh, kind of Redline era engine out of the 32 Ford Vicky. And I wanted something that was going to uh, basically give us that same look, um, but something that I could find real easy and not cost a lot of money. So I looked at uh, either a King Cuda or a Duster Thruster from Hot Wheels. Both of those cars are pretty easy and cheap to find. I had a King Cuda laying around. So we sourced that motor out of there and it's really going to work out good. Um, so we'll take another look at it again once we make a little bit more progress. All right, gang, it is time for the final unveil on this Tamika Ford Model T. Now, I'm pretty happy with the way this thing came out. You know, we changed gears on this project and we wanted to do something that would kind of be at home amongst any old Hot Wheels Redline collection. And I think this thing came out looking pretty cool. Really happy with it. I think it really kind of has that old Hot Wheels hot heap um, look to it. And I definitely think this would look at home in any Redline collection, especially kind of early 70s. Um, gave this thing a really nice candy apple red paint job and then basically everything else we kind of just detailed out in chrome we didn't go too overboard like you know this is a little bit different than a lot of the cars i built because normally i would detail out stuff you know to the extreme but i wanted to kind of just keep this thing looking like it it just came from hot wheels like the way it is so you know um the stock hot wheels aren't really super detailed they usually you know just you know one color or the whole chassis is just chrome or black or whatever um so that's kind of the what we did on this one um just left the uh, interior the black plastic just the way it came um we detailed out like the firewall and uh the windshield frame in chrome we detailed out the grill headlights in chrome um we left the engine chrome and then um we got these super cool hot wheels red line wheels on here like you guys seen um, and I uh, just detailed out the whole chassis and chrome to look like a metal base car. Um, but just super happy with this car. Um, I think it's going to look really cool in my collection. I hope you guys dig it. If you do, give it a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you think of it. Um, if you're not already a subscriber to Hanson Speed Shop, hit that subscribe button because there's tons of cool stuff like this on the way. And there's tons of cool stuff to go check out on the channel if you haven't already. Um, otherwise, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Um, stick around for some more pictures of this car. Otherwise, until next time, get out work on your own projects. Get those hands dirty and greasy. Stay cool. And we'll catch you cats on the next one. Thanks for watching.